What's up guys, I'm Adrian Nunez and you're watching Mary J News. Ah, college. A wonderful time when most 18 to 22 year olds lose all inhibitions and go on a four year vacation and journey of self-discovery in the guise of higher learning. Of course, some people will actually apply themselves and study hard for degrees that directly result in real world careers. But whatever. You'll never see them and they're irrelevant until they become your boss one day. For the majority of us, college is a first taste of adult freedom and a time when a whole new world blossoms before our eyes like a lovely cannabis plant. Speaking of cannabis, you're going to run into a lot of it, as well as a variety of characters who toke up. They'll range from harmless to predatory and completely unhinged. And you have to be able to weed out the shady characters if you're going to find your best buds. Thankfully, Mary Jane is here to make sure you're not caught off guard, dazed and confused. If you study nothing else in the next four to six years, study this. These are the types of stoners you'll meet in college. College is all about experiencing new things. For some undergrads, that means smoking pot for the first time. Cannabis is meant to be shared, and it could be fun to pop somebody's bong cherry, but don't make a habit of hooking up every noob you encounter, homies. You need to save your money for dollar beers, microwave burritos, Easy Mac, and top ramen noodles. And save some of that weed for your damn self. Also, never, and I mean never, let a noob roll up anything, because nobody benefits from a deformed, ill-smoking, and slobbery joint or blunt. And definitely don't leave your munchies open around them, or you're going hungry. If you are a noob, no worries. Practice makes perfect. And if you're looking for a crash course in Mary Jane, you've come to the right place. Peruse the Mary Jane archives for extra credit. In stark contrast to the noob, the dropout is a much more experienced stoner. And that experience comes from having spent six years on campus, two of which they actually spent studying at the school. So you do the math. This higher learner is turning 25 and still smoking out the freshman rush parties. Like a kid who's too big for their stroller, the dropout needs to get their shit together and like, grow up, man. They probably have some bomb ass weed for sale though. The smell of marijuana attracts people from all walks of life. It also attracts broke ass motherfuckers trying to get in on every gram of green you light up. I'm talking about moochers, people. Here's the scene. You're at a party, having a great time with your friends, and you're smoking a joint. You turn your head for one second, and next thing you know, this random person is slobbering all over it. No one knows how they got it, but they weaseled their way into the cipher without putting in a penny. The moocher could also be someone you know who promised to throw you a five in September, but still hasn't paid you back by spring break. Just a heads up, some of your classmates will try marijuana, love it, and lose their damn minds trying to be down. Suddenly, Brad from Jackson, Wyoming will claim to be a devout Rastafari who smokes as part of the sacrament. He'll show up to class smelling like he rolled around in a field of marijuana. He'll only wear mesh tank tops, drug rugs, and tees in the Rasta colors of red, green, and yellow, typically with a line on it. And worst of all, he'll dread his hair, often not washing in an effort to knot it up. Never trust a white person with dreads. So don't be like Brad. Beware of the philosopher, my cannabis comrades. The philosopher can be found holding the blunt for way too long in a smoke session while spewing his or her views on a range of subjects. Most likely they will ponder the meaning of life, humanity, or stoners. They will talk so long you will either want to slap the shit out of them or fall asleep. So just tell the philosopher this. Sit down, shut up, and pass the blunt already. The professor is perhaps the rarest owner you'll encounter in college. They likely teach some liberal arts courses and stroll in 10 minutes late every class with a trail of loud following close behind. They've definitely fallen asleep in class on more than one occasion, and if you get a chance to spark one with them, then jump at the opportunity. It's likely a tale you'll proudly tell your grandchildren one day. That'll do it for now, but for all your stoner studies, keep it locked right here to Mary Jane.